Hey, what's up guys? My name is Charlie. Today we're going to be reacting to some more Nostalgia Critic. And it's going to be the top 11 Nostalgia Critic fuck-ups, part 3. Oh boy, this title doesn't need explaining. Obviously, it's going to be the Nostalgia Critic going through all his fuck-ups. <laughs> oh boy, I do love these. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, let's check out the video, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> you read the title. You all know what's coming. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nostalgia critic, you are scrotum of existence, and you made some more fuck ups, and I here to point them out. <laughs> hey, you're pretty good at this. <laughs> Maybe I should be my own troll. No, <laughs> all I would have left then is leaving comments on YouTube. That's where today's real philosophers are. Haters are gonna hate. Part three. Yes, this is the top eleven nostalgia critic fuck ups. Part three, revenge of the shit. Wouldn't that technically be Return of the Jedi? No! How come everybody always makes that mistake? Return of the Jedi is part six, Revenge of the Sith is part three! Just because it came out six doesn't mean that Oh it's god, just get on with it! Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Uh, sorry about this. The music has been uh, copyrighted, I'm guessing. The Nostalgia Critic removed this sound clip right now to protect this video from being copyrighted. Um, so, sorry about that. Obviously, this is copyrighted uh, to protect this video, so we removed it. Um, hopefully, it will be restored. It should be restored anytime soon. Your count there we go. <laughs> Disney yeah. It's a copyright okay, protection thing. He has to do what he has to do to protect his videos from being Center. monetized. Granted, most of it's nitpicking, but that's why we're here. I'll go through the ones that were brought up the most. In my Aristocats review, I say that the butler is going to inherit the cat, and he wants to get rid of them because he hates cats. Hmm. Well, technically that's true, except I forgot to mention <laughs> that the cats were going to inherit all the riches. And once they're out of the picture, the butler will inherit the money. Damn. Okay, does that that's really make the butler. film any stronger? <laughs> I guess it gives him more reason to kill them, but who leaves money to cats? <laughs> it's still stupid. Next is in both Rescuer movies, I say that Miss Bianca is played by Zsa Zsa Gabor. Zsa Zsa. Actually, it was her sister, Ava Gabor. Ava Honestly, Gabor. I'm just impressed that my fan base knew who either of these women were. Yeah. <laughs> I must have more Green Acres fans than I thought. Another is that I say the friends in a Goofy movie are going to a concert when really they were just watching it at home. It was just Max who said he was going to appear at the concert on TV. Again, a minor mess up. But the one that people really freaked out over was when I called the leopard in Tarzan a cheetah. A cheetah. I knew people were so feline savvy. But yes, that would make this kitty a leopard. It's a cat. It has spots. Whatever. <laughs> Just who cares? Again, Come on. Minor mistake. Don't be so critical. Me. Minor? How would you like it if I called these things a rabbit, a turtle, a good Super Bowl campaign? We all know what you mean. It's a universal Why? language. <laughs> Number 10. Sorry about the music being removed, but like I said, Nostalgia Critics protect me. Psychiatrists it. do have to go to medical school, you ass of an ox! I think most people knew what I meant by this, but yeah, it is still technically a fuck up. What I was referring to in my Patch Adams review is that the character they were portraying would be much better learning to be a psychiatrist as opposed to a doctor who performed operations. Mm. But either way, you still gotta go to medical school. <laughs> Which I reacted strangely to when I heard that he was in the movie. I didn't mean to indicate that psychiatrists aren't doctors. They still have to know the biological, psychological, and social aspects of a patient. Yeah. That way they can prescribe a medication and all that. Therapy. I was referring more that a man who does nothing but act like Bozo the Jackass <laughs> would be more <laughs> fitted away from the sharp medical tools unless they're being used to stab. Yeah. I know what I'm he also meant. I told that bedside manner wasn't as best even back then, but I still no need have to go into detail. That the way these doctors talk was the norm. I mean, they were pretty much saying that all doctors back then were acting like <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. And that just doesn't seem as logical. Wouldn't it yeah, make it's more not sense if you're logical. a nice not... doctor that you would get more patients than mm. they would you gotta want be charming. to see you, that they would prefer you manner. over doctors who are mean? Mm. Did Patch Adams really come and transform this? I have my suspicions, but who am I to talk about a time period where I wasn't even a sperm yet? True. <laughs> On the plus side, at least we don't have to put up with that horrible doctor bitch spasms again. <laughs> Yeah, I bet you thought he was going to come in and do something funny, but nope, I shot him. He's dead. He's right there, lying Thank on the floor. Thank God. Is he? Show, show us. Is he I right? I should do something about that corpse. Yeah, he's he going to stink it out. Number nine. Oh, boy. Sound's been removed once again. You 
shouldn't review Thomas the Tank Engine if you haven't seen the show. I've only seen a few okay, episodes look, of the I show. I made it very clear that I never saw this show. Yeah. I was only reviewing the movie based on the fact that a lot of people want me to review it. Mm. And for the a bit moment, like Felix the Cat, it. you know. But to all those people saying I need to see the show before, before I judge watch the watch the movie, movie. Yeah. I'm here uh. to make jokes. Mm. Calm the fuck down. People are so critical. I've reviewed movies based on shows I haven't seen before. Mm. Like the Pokemon, Pokemon movie, movie the watch Avengers. That first like, even the original Pokemon Star Trek series. shows I've barely seen, and I can still get through the movies okay. Mm. I'm just judging by what's given to me as a movie goer. Yeah. Maybe it is made only for people who watch the show. In which case, I get the feeling I would like the show even less. A bit like the Serenity movie, the you know. Part of is not knowing about it and being really confused. That's what made a lot of people enjoy the Pokemon review. Now, if I said the show sucked despite the fact that I never saw it, then I can understand getting angry. But when I openly acknowledge I've never seen it, I think it just makes for funnier moments when I don't know what's going on. Yeah, also hear some that's the charm. Angry that I was shocked that big names like Alec Baldwin and Peter Fonda were in this when big names well. like George Carlin was on the original show. Well, <laughs> Peter Fonda and Alec Baldwin, for the most part, were still doing big dramatic roles at that time. They I love probably George need Carlin, but George Carlin's amazing. He was doing Tarzan 2 and Scary Movie 3. <laughs> the shock value's kind of taken down a few notches after you do that. But he's still awesome. <laughs> yeah, what he's incredible. He's, he's the best fart fart comedy in ever. Now, if that was in Thomas the Tank Engine, I probably like it. <laughs> Number eight. Yeah, George Carlin's incredible comedy. is perhaps one of my favorites. Um, possibly Pee Evans. Pee Evans is amazing. Talk in Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yes, Billy Connolly, he's great. Top 11 list, the top 11 nostalgic mindfucks. I say that the intro to Pee Wee's Playhouse is, well, a nostalgic mindfuck. <laughs> However, I say at one point that the only thing that never talked was the floor. Well, I was wrong. Uh, Apparently, even the floor got up to say a few <laughs> lines every talked. once in a while. In fact, he even had a name. His name was Flory. And I swear I don't know how I forgot him. Now, because of this, a lot of people have been accusing me of being an anti-groundite. Well, let me tell you something. I have nothing against hard-working floors. Sure, they're taken for granted. Sure, we walk over them all the time. <laughs> but that doesn't mean they don't have feelings, too. <laughs> Many of my good friends are floors. In fact, I have a good <laughs> relationship with my floor here. So Isn't that right, Howard? <laughs> Apparently, floors can fire guns. Oh, yeah, well... <laughs> I have a good relationship with my carpet on my floor. <laughs> I keep it clean every day. <laughs> Number seven. Yeah, how does floors hold guns anyway? <laughs> that makes sense. Number seven. Sauron couldn't fly into the Nexus Sauron because his ship would explode. Clad! In my Star Trek Generations review, I asked why the bad guy Sauron couldn't just buy a ship and fly it into the Nexus. Couldn't you just save up your money and be like, Shuttle, please. <laughs> my god, that was easy. Hello, Nexus, how are you? Yeah, hey! <laughs> well, there actually is a line that explains why. Why doesn't he just fly into it with a ship? My records show that every ship which has approached the ribbon has either been destroyed or severely damaged. Okay, so a ship can't fly into it. Hmm. But still, aren't there other creative ways he could have pulled this off? Yeah. Like, aren't there still spacesuits in the future? If he knows where it's going, can't he just work his way out a bit and wait for it to hit him? And then the ship behind him would be destroyed? Couldn't they just transport Hell, they the ship on the planet? Devices. Can't Maybe? they just beam him in a spacesuit out to the Nexus and then yeah. let it hit him? Oh, there just who knows. has to be Lots easier of ways. ways. But mm. nevertheless, my theory of flying a ship into the Nexus technically doesn't work. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Aren't there one or two other screw-ups in your Star Trek Insurrection review? <clears throat> There's a commentary! Oh, Boom! Jesus. Go listen to it! Sorry about some of the audio issues! <laughs> oh, Star Trek nerds always trying to correct the Star Trek people watching the movies and stuff. <laughs> Dunstan's an ape, not a monkey! Oh, it's an ape, you not a monkey. Tell okay. right now, I'm not exactly an animal expert. Yeah. I can't tell a cheetah from a leopard, and I can't tell a monkey from an ape. An orangutan, to be more specific. Orangutan, but yeah. To be honest, monkey just sounds funnier. Yeah, I call I everything a monkey wrong, if it's an ape monkey. monkey yeah, I mean, think about monkeys it, better. If Planet of the Apes was replaced by Planet of the Monkeys. <laughs> Would you be laughing your ass off at that title? Or imagine if the monkeys were called the apes. That's not nearly as likely. Whatever he is, he's still not funny. <laughs> Sometimes the choice of words can determine whether or not you get a laugh. Lettuce, for example, is not funny. Cabbage is friggin' hilarious. Sure. Watch. Lettuce. Cabbage. <laughs> Fucking funny. 
And I know that monkeys and apes technically aren't the same thing, but mm. again, lettuce, cabbage. <laughs> it always works. <laughs> Pretty basic. He's not a monkey. Next one. Number five. Oh boy, the silence. Camping on the windows <laughs> can hurt windows well. Can hurt well. Yeah. The, yeah, the I'm finding echo. Out so much about animals today. Echo in sensor. In my free Willy yeah. review, I point out that I don't really see the major problem in kids banging on the window. Yeah, the, you can't do that. It's... But it turns out, because their sound is amplified, yeah. not only does it sound louder, but they can also interpret it as danger. It can mm. cause stress, lower their immune system, and even kill them. Damn. Wow, where the hell was the whale lady on that one? Yeah. I mean, she was like one of the caretakers, wasn't she? Shouldn't there be a sign, don't hit the glass like yeah, little idiots? Yeah, don't tap the glass. I mean, I didn't know this. What makes them think that little kids would? <laughs> Shouldn't there be a person down there or something making sure that people don't do this? Mm. I mean, kids do all sorts of stupid things. They watch this for crying out loud. Fred the movie, Again, oh god, bro. I can't blame the movie. Hey, it's Fred. <laughs> god, I used to watch that shit back in the, you fail. Oh, the golden you ages of that. YouTube. Didn't I, though? Didn't I? No! Well, you're on the internet! And as we all know, all information from the internet is supposed to be right! You know, Douchey, it just hit me. Why don't you come on board as a fact checker? No! Why not? Because then, then I, I couldn't complain, complain about, about it! it. Oh! Next scene. <laughs> Number four. Oh, Jesus. What's this one gonna be complaining about now? That's a pan, that... not a pot! A pan, not a pot, seriously. Stupid! Who gives a so, shit? on top of knowing little about animals, apparently I know little about cookware as well. <laughs> In it's my body okay. review, I refer to a pan as being a pot. Yes, yeah, alright. Who cares? Stop being so fucking thing. critical. Nope. One has a handle, the other doesn't. Pretty basic, and I'm aware I should know better. Just don't let Gordon Ramsay know I did Oh this. god, yeah, Gordon oh. Ramsay. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of this comes from spending less time in the kitchen and more time eating sugar-frosted burrito-stuffed Hot Pockets. <laughs> oh, I love those with the extra lard on the side. Yeah, I know, mm, and the creamy butter taken from real lipo suctions. And, and the side of oil oh, that's found in most sauteed yeah, oceans. Yeah, those are the best. They are the best. I love them. I love them, too. I mean, oh, how dare we almost find something in common? <laughs> yeah. Nothing too much to say about this one, except, honestly, I just need to spend more time around the stove. Hmm. Well, maybe not too much. <laughs> Yeah, that did happen, I remember. Yeah, it's okay, these are small mistakes, they're nothing to be dramatic about, you know, so... Your let's play a bird's nightmare! Oh, Need Jesus. I see more? Okay, a lot of people, I'm sure, want to see this as number one. But mm. really, when you get down to it, nothing technically or factually is wrong here. It just turned out to be a really bad video. <laughs> but with that said... I don't know, yeah, I kind of enjoy it's it. It's a pretty bad video. Uh, I guess I was just too behind the times of how Let's Plays work and what's appropriate to put in them. I thought it was Boy, okay. does it show. This is up there with Melvin as one of my biggest bombs. It's easily one of the most despised videos because I don't give the Let's Play the proper time and respect it deserves. Mm, yeah. Now, to be fair, that was sort of part of the joke. Tackling something that I thought was more simple, but it turns out it was much more difficult than I thought. Unfortunately, though, the punchline just didn't play out. People got real tired real fast, and it's still considered to be one of the worst nostalgia critics. Oh, I even had sucks. to spend half of my next review just apologizing. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's, that's the James of the Giant Peach. But really, guys, episode. don't worry. I know you're going to love my Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion. Oh, yes. Please, Luigi's Mansion, actually do that. Fucking Luigi's Mansion is great. But uh, honestly, I thought it was okay, his review. Bella didn't want oh, to marry Twilight. Edward in Twilight. You war whore! Yes, when I put Bella in my top 11 dumbasses in distress, I brought up that, <laughs> among her other faults, she was pressuring Edward into marriage. Actually, I got it the other way around. It was Edward that was pressuring her into marriage. Huh. Because really, ladies, isn't that a common problem? <laughs> Men pressuring you into marriage? Yeah, of course. just so obsessed with commitment. Yeah. I guess I got confused by the fact that she was pleading him to turn her into a vampire. Which, from the sounds of it, is a much bigger and even dangerous commitment. So I figured marriage, after asking that, wouldn't be such a big deal. But nope. Apparently living her life as a blood-sucking beast of the night for the rest of her life, she's absolutely sure about. But being legally bound together? That's obviously the much bigger issue that <laughs> takes a lot more time. And don't get me wrong, it is a big issue, and it does take time. But she just hears the word <sighs> vampire and she's like, I'm in, I'm in! Now, well, whoever's idea it was, it still makes both of them look like jackasses. But still, fess up when you mess up. It was Edward who wanted to get married, not Bella. I guess that means we can like her now, right? Not oh, God. 
No, not very. Really. <laughs> and the number one nostalgia critic fuck up part three is number one. Your complete misunderstanding of the planet Cyclo. Oh come this on! One I get a ton of emails about. And to be honest, I can see this movie's why. cool in, my in a bad way. <laughs> I mentioned how it seems incredibly unlikely that an explosion wouldn't happen on their planet to set off an atmosphere that was radioactive, especially seeing how violent they were. Hmm. But actually, the air was a reactive gas, not radiation. Nuclear radiation is what would set it off. <laughs> and the explosion isn't just an explosion, it's a nuclear explosion. Hmm. Which I guess they're building up that the cyclos never came across or tested out. We even referenced this in my Star Trek Insurrection <laughs> review. It was that the air they breathed reacted violently to radiation! It's ironic because this brought on one of my biggest outbursts. This is stupid! Stupid! <laughs> stupid! 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 stupid, stupid. I don't know, I even though you got it incorrect, it's still a good movie in a bad way. If so bad, it's so good. Actually wasn't called for. So the facts about why the planet well, you will really need to spell your name. Part, totally legitimate. I was learning to conquer galaxies. But I still must ask, how can an advanced weapon savvy violent race not have come up with nuclear fusion? Mm. Again, these things are apparently so advanced and so goddamn violent happy that you know they would have come up with something that can be as harmful as nuclear fusion. Yeah. These guys look for anything destructive, <laughs> anything hazardous, and yet somehow we, the more peaceful planet, came up with nuclear fusion and they didn't? I'm sorry! I still have a hard time believing it! It's just stupid! Stupid! Yeah, it's really broken him. You know what? I'm just gonna leave him in his place. Yeah. Uh, he's the nostalgic critic. He remembers it, so you didn't have to. Impressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, the end and the music's cut off, obviously. Yeah, so sorry about all the, the sort of no sounds going on there, but obviously there's the Nostalgia Critic protecting his video from copyright, uh, you know, so he can monetize the video and stuff like that. Um, so um, it's understandable that he had to take those measures uh, to remove the audio completely. And, you know, it's something to do to protect his videos so he can monetize them. Um, but, uh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like that uh, Thornberry kid, you know that, uh, <laughs> you know that Thornberry kid, uh, that uh, you know, you know the one I'm talking about, the guy that goes <laughs> just goes insane. Um, but uh, yeah, that was the top eleven nostalgia critic fuck ups part three. But to be honest, these were the sort of minor. I mean, they're not really something to get your panties twisted over about. Um, you know, the, the bar, uh, video game gameplay he did, the uh, sort of gameplay he did, I, you know, I found it okay, but maybe it was because I just enjoyed Nostalgia Critic playing video games. You know, I wasn't really looking at it as, um, a sort of critical point, I was just sort of enjoying him playing a video game, that's really it. Um, you know, just like you like watching other people, uh, playing video games, and that was for me, I just liked him playing, uh, watching him play a video game, that's what it really was. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, as for the rest, yeah, he made some mistakes, some minor mistakes, uh, like a pot, you know, in a pan and all that. Who cares? You know, these are all mistakes that we understand what he's trying to say. You know, it's a bit like a universal uh, language. We all know what he's trying to say, so it's not really important to correct. Um, but, uh, you know, <laughs> the fans are very critical. Um, but, uh, yeah, um... There's nothing to be, uh, you know, shocked about. Nostalgia Critic fucked up. You know, everyone fucks up. I fuck up all the time. Um, but, uh, yeah, I really did enjoy this video. If you like this video, make sure to give a like, comment down below, make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>